Hi, I'm Francis McGovern with Literary Traveler. Thank you for joining us at the Eric Carle Museum of Picture Book Art in Amherst, Massachusetts. We're here to learn more about author and illustrator Eric Carle, who's famous for such works as The Very Hungry Caterpillar, Will You Be My Friend, and The Grouchy Ladybug. Now, what's great about the museum is not only can you learn more about the great works of picture book art, but you also have the chance to create some great works of art yourself. Located just a few hours outside Boston in western Massachusetts, the Eric Carle Museum of Picture Book Art is one of the first of its kind in the United States. The museum, the brainchild of Eric Carle, came to be after he and his wife Bobby took a trip to Japan in the early 1980s. Upon his return, Eric came to believe that there needed to be a similar institution in America. Over the past decade, the museum has become more than just a display case for Carle's art. It is also an interactive space where children are free to browse the extensive reading library, create their own art, and visit the galleries. Though Eric Carle's work is permanently on display, there are two rooms dedicated to the works of other artists. These often feature rotating exhibits, which means that no two visits to the Picture Book Museum are ever the same. We took a few minutes to speak with Nick Clark, the curator of the museum. Well, this gallery is dedicated to the art of Eric Carle, <clears throat> because that's what so many people from all over the world come to see. So half of the gallery is dedicated to original work uh, based on sort of thematic exhibitions, in this instance, family and friends. And then the balance of the gallery is based on a, 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 a photographic biography of Eric's life and career, so that, again, visitors can learn more about him. He's all, always asked, as everybody is, where do ideas come from? And, and he, he says, well, they come from within and they come from without. So uh, it's a tough question to answer in a way, but I think so much of it uh, is, is rooted in personal experience. When he was a little boy, his father would uh, take him <coughs> out into the woods, and they weren't looking for the big animals, they were looking for those that were under the rock or behind the piece of bark, uh, the insects. And I think if you, um, you know, look at Eric's work, uh, insects play an important role in his book. So he's often telling noble stories through, if you will, ignoble animals. Nick, what can you tell us about The Very Hungry Caterpillar and why you think it's become so popular? I think it's popular because it's, it's a book about transition. It's, it's a book, in a way, it's, it's about coming of age for a six-year-old or a five-year-old. It's, it's about leaving home and having that first real step of independence at school. And you, you start as the humble caterpillar and you emerge as this beautiful butterfly. And that, that it's, a, it's a book of potential. And it's not, when you finish it, you don't say the end, you say the beginning. And it's also a book about counting. It's a book about days of the week. So there, there's some very concrete information in it, but also infused into that is a much bigger kind of philosophical question that the, that the child may not even realize that they're going through, but all of a sudden, there it is. Well, we hope you enjoyed your visit to the museum. Please be sure to check out the website, literarytraveler.com, to find out more information about how to plan your own visit. And remember, explore your literary imagination on Literary Traveler.